students today i am solving isi uh, m math 2020 this question is about ring uh, and uh, the uh, <coughs> group ring field theory this is a little bit uh, moderate level question so if k be a field let r be the ring of kx k of g i f of x if i belongs to r be the ideal generated by g minus 1 uh, x minus 1 x minus 2 then find all the maximal ideals of the ring r given i okay so consider the mapping first so consider the mapping f k g i f of x is k square given by f of p of x p of 1 comma p of 2 okay so f is a ring homomorphism So the kernel of f coincides with i. So hence we can write f of px equal to 0 that gives p of 1 equal to p of 2 that is equal to 0. And hence we can get p of x equal to q of x, x minus 1, x minus 2, where p belongs to i. So in these kind of cases, a comma b belongs to k. Consider that uh, Px equal to b minus a into x plus 2a minus b. So then f of p of x, this thing will be p of 1 comma p of 2. So this is ab. So from k maps, k g i f of x is an on to on k square. So by the isomorphism theorem, isomorphism theorem so p given i is isomorphic to k square now consider a maximal ideal j so if we consider a maximal ideal j of k square where j not equal to 0 and 0 so consider an arbitrary non-zero a b arbitrary a non-zero a b into j then this a comma 0 is 1 0 a b and that belongs to j and 0 comma b 0 1 a b that belongs to j again so if a not equal to 0 actually and b not equal to 0 if those two are there then 1 0 0 1 belongs to j and j equal to k square so in this case j is not a maximal ideal j is not a maximal ideal so either j equal to 0 cross k or j equal to k cross k now once we reach the conclusion is that there are two maximal ideals in r i so maximal ideals are two and one is generated by x minus 1 and the other one is generated by x minus 2 okay so hence uh, there are found maximal ideals are 7 is done. Last question for 2020. Finally, we are finishing it off. Okay. This last question is a little bit easy level. Uh, not much easy, but you can call it again a moderate level. So, G be a finite group and H be the normal subgroup of G. Let P be a silo P subgroup of H. So that for all G belongs to G, there exists H belongs to F and G, P of G inverse and HP H inverse. So let's do it. Okay, so now let G belongs to G and H is a normal subgroup of G. So G P G inverse belongs to G this and H. It follows the uh, G P G inverse is a subgroup of H but mod of this thing this gpg inverse is mod p and gpg inverse is a silo p subgroup of h so by silo theorem uh, we can say that p and gpg inverse are conjugate in h so that there exists a h which belongs to 
एपिटल एच सच दैट जी पी जी इनवर्स इक्वल टू एच पी एच इनवर्स ओके सो फर्स्ट पार्ट डन सेकेंड लेट एन इन दिस केस एच एन बी द सेट एन एच एन सो शो टू शो दैट जी इक्वल टू जी एन सो जी इक्वल टू एन सच दैट सो लाइक वी कैन स्टार्ट विथ जी पी जी इनवर्स इक्वल टू एच पी एच इनवर्स एंड एच इनवर्स जी पी ऑफ एच इनवर्स जी इनवर्स इक्वल टू पी सो एन इक्वल टू एच इनवर्स जी दैट इज बिलोंग्स टू एन एंड जी इक्वल टू एच एन बिलोंग्स टू एच एन सो इक्वालिटी जी इक्वल टू एच एन इज प्रूव 